Hi, welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, we will tackle the operations on integers. First, we must know the meaning of integers. When we say integer, it is a whole number, not a fractional number, that can be positive, negative, or zero. Examples, 35, negative 20, negative 100, 7, and 0. Just keep in mind that integers are all counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, and also the negative counting numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on, as well as 0. Now, let's proceed to addition of integers. Okay, let's add first both positive integers. Example, 6 plus 9. The numbers are both positive. So, we will just add 6 plus 9 equals 15. So, positive 6 plus positive 9 equals positive 15. But in writing positive numbers, we don't need to put the plus sign because it is understood that a number without a sign is a positive number. Next, let's add both negative integers. Okay, let's add negative 6 plus negative 9. To add integers with the same negative signs, we just add the numbers. Then, we copy the negative sign in the answer. So, negative 6 plus negative 9 equals negative 15. This time, we will add integers with unlike or different signs. Let's get the sum of positive 6 plus negative 9. To add integers with unlike or different signs, just subtract the number with a smaller absolute value from the number with higher absolute value. And copy the sign of the number with higher absolute value. When we say absolute value, it is the distance of a number from zero, regardless of its sign. Examples, the absolute value of 6 and negative 6 is 6. The absolute value of 9 and negative 9 is 9. As you can see, positive 6 and negative 6 have the same absolute value. That means that when we get the absolute value of a number, we disregard the sign. Okay, let's go back to the problem. Okay, let's add now. So, the rule is we will subtract this number with a smaller absolute value from the number with higher absolute value. So, we will subtract 6 from 9. 9 minus 6 equals 3. And then, to put the sign in our answer, we need to copy the sign of the number with higher absolute value. So, since negative 9 has a higher absolute value, so we will copy its sign and it is negative. Therefore, positive 6 plus negative 9 equals negative 3. How about if we add negative 6 plus positive 9? The signs of the addends are different. So the rule is to subtract. We will subtract the smaller number to a higher number in terms of absolute value. So we will subtract 9 minus 6 equals 3. Then, to put the sign in the sum, we need to copy the sign of the number with a higher absolute value. And since 9 is higher than 6, so we will copy the sign of 9 and it is positive. So, negative 6 plus positive 9 equals positive 3. As I've said, we don't need to put the sign in writing the answer when it is positive. Let's proceed to subtraction of integers. 
Okay, let's know first the steps in subtracting integers. First, keep the first number or minuend. Second, change the subtraction sign into addition sign. So that means minus will become plus. Third, get the opposite sign of the second number or subtrahend. And fourth, proceed to the rules in adding integers to get the answer. Okay, let's follow these steps in subtracting integers. So let's have our first example. Positive 7 minus positive 2 or 7 minus 2. It's very easy. So we will just subtract 7 minus 2 equals 5. In this example, we can get immediately the answer without changing the subtraction sign into addition sign because we only subtract whole numbers or natural numbers. Now let's solve another problem. This one, positive 2 minus positive 7. Okay, let's follow the steps in subtracting integers. So we will keep the first number or the minuend, the 2. Then we will change the subtraction sign into addition sign. Then we will get the opposite sign of the subtrahend. So the subtrahend is positive 7. So then the opposite is negative 7. The last step is to apply the rules in adding integers. As you can see, the problem becomes positive 2 plus negative 7. The signs are different. So we need to subtract the smaller number to a higher number in terms of absolute value. So that means that we will subtract 2 from 7. Okay, let's do it. 7 minus 2 equals 5. Then to put the sign in the answer, we need to copy the sign of the number with a higher absolute value. And that is... 7. The sign of 7 is negative. So we will copy the negative sign. So the answer for positive 2 minus positive 7 or 2 minus 7 equals negative 5. But there is a technique in subtracting both positive integers in which the subtrahend is greater than the minuend. So the technique is just subtract the smaller number from the higher number and then put the negative sign in the answer. So that's it. You don't need to do step by step to save time. But for both negative numbers and the subtrahend is greater than in the minuend in terms of absolute value, the answer is positive. Okay, let's have another example. Positive 7 minus negative 2. Okay, let's solve this step by step. First, keep the minuend 7. Then change the subtraction sign into addition. So minus will become plus. And then get the opposite sign of the subtrahend. So negative 2 will become positive 2. And then apply the rules in adding integers. So, the problem becomes 7 plus 2 or positive 7 plus positive 2. So, the answer is 9. We will just add because the numbers are both positive. So, 7 minus negative 2 equals positive 9. Last example, negative 2 minus positive 7. Okay, so first step, keep the minuend negative 2 second change minus 2 plus third get the opposite of the subtrahend positive 7 so will be it will become negative 7 okay the problem now becomes negative 2 plus negative 7 so we will apply the rules in adding integers with both negative signs Okay, so we will just add 
the numbers and then copy the negative sign. 2 plus 7 equals 9 and copy the negative sign. So, negative 2 minus positive 7, the answer is negative 9. Now, let's proceed to multiplication and division of integers. The rules in multiplying and dividing integers are the same. First, multiply or divide the absolute values of the numbers. Next, apply the following rules in determining the sign of the product or quotient. So, positive times or divide positive, the answer is always positive. Negative times or divide negative, the answer is always positive. And when we multiply or divide integers with different or unlike signs, the answer is always negative. Okay, let's solve some problems for you to better understand the rules. Okay, let's multiply 6 times 4 or positive 6 times positive 4. Okay, both positive. So, we will just multiply the numbers and the answer is always positive. So, 6 times 4 equals 24. Next example, negative 6 times negative 4. In this problem, I use parenthesis because in mathematics, parenthesis means multiplication. Okay, so we will multiply negative 6 by negative 4. The absolute value of negative 6 is 6. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4. So multiply the absolute value 6 times 4 equals 24. Same sign, so the answer is always positive. Another example, negative 6 times positive 4. The signs here are different, so the answer must be negative. So, we will multiply the absolute value of negative 6 and positive 4. So, just multiply 6 times 4. The answer is 24. And since the signs are different, so the answer must be negative. So, the answer is negative 24. Same with if we multiply positive 6 times negative 4. Different signs, so the answer is negative 24. This time, we will divide integers. First example, 8 divided by 2 or positive 8 divided by positive 2. The signs are the same, so the answer must be positive. We will just divide the numbers. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Okay, next problem, negative 8 divided by negative 2. Again, the signs are the same, both negative. So, the answer must be positive. We will just divide the absolute value of the numbers. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8 and the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Next example, negative 8 divided by positive 2. Okay, different signs. So, the answer must be negative. We will just divide the absolute value of negative 8 and 2. So, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And the sign must be negative. So, the answer is negative 4. Last example, negative 2 divided by positive 8. Okay, so we will divide the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2, by the absolute value of 8, which is 8. Okay, let's divide 2 divided by 8. So since 2 is less than 8, we will add 0. It will become 20. 20 divided by 8 equals 2. 2 times 8 equals 16. Then subtract 20 minus 16 equals 4. Okay, let's add another 0. It will become 40. 
40 divided by 8 equals 5. 5 times 8 equals 40. 40 minus 40 equals 0. The answer is 25 hundredths or 0.25. But since the signs are different, so we need to use the negative sign. Therefore, negative 2 divided by positive 8 equals negative 25 hundredths or negative 0.25. That's all for this topic. I hope you learned in this video. See you next time. God bless.